the gear still makes great recordings. But the way I thought about making music changed when I got these four pieces of gear. What is up Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent and today the four things that change the way I record starting with numero uno are headphones because for the first time in my recording career I could actually mix and I could make great recordings because I could hear what was actually happening when I was recording and getting a good sound and getting a good take is the key to having a successful recording. I predict that the day I get monitors is going to also change the way I record because being able to mix with a more level sound and not having to compensate for all of the biases of the headphones is gonna be a game changer. Number two, is an interface. Before I was using just whatever microphone I could come up with, whether that was my phone microphone or whether that was the Apple EarPods or whether that was the internal microphone on my computer, I was just using what I had. For a long time, I was just do taking a point and shoot camera, pointing it at me and recording in one take. With an interface connected to a microphone, I was finally able to actually do more than one take. Whether that was multiple layers of guitars or multiple layers of vocals, having an interface allowed me and changed the way I recorded from point and shoot to make some noise to actually being able to make layered songs. Which brings me to the third thing, which are mics. Now I've used some USB mics and they were pretty decent. And I've used, you know, the phone, the computer, the whatever I could find. And you know, you can get good sounds out of that, but actually having the right mic for the job completely changes the way you record. Because instead of trying to make something work and trying to accommodate for the strengths of a dynamic condenser, you can actually intentionally go in and do what you're trying to do the first time. The fourth thing that changed how I record is getting Logic Pro X. Because for the first time ever, I could actually produce. Don't get me wrong, I started on GarageBand and I'm sure you've seen the amazing things that come out of GarageBand. But for me, it changed the way I recorded because all of the features in GarageBand that you can use are hidden beneath layers of software. Whereas in Logic, it's just all right there, ready for me to use, ready for me to investigate, explore, and come to an understanding of. And there's things in Logic that GarageBand just can't do. I'm looking at you, humanized MIDI, so it made a big difference. And here's a fifth bonus tip. The thing that really has changed the way I record the most is my mindset. And before you click away, cause that seems cheap, just as when I went from setting up a camera and recording in one take to actually being able to layer out my tracks, the mindset of how I want to record and what I want to sound like and the things that I think and believe I can do actually changes the way that I record. Knowing that I know how to make a recording that sounds like alternative or punk rock changes the way I go about recording versus before when I was limited by my abilities, by my skill sets, and by my gear. So if you wanna get better at recording, I do have a playlist, but otherwise I would recommend that you just keep going out there, keep learning as much as you can, keep trying as many new things as you can, and don't let gear stop you. If you need some recommendations for gear, I have some links in the description below, but I'd like to know what is one thing that's changed the way you record? Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.